Spritz is a new startup with a focused reading technology that promises to be able to make people read at double their normal speed using this technology. So here to tell us about Spritz and break some news is Frank Waldman, who's the CEO and co-founder of Spritz. Thanks for having me. And now Spritz itself, we're going to get a look at the technology here in person in just a second, but it's not an app. It's a technology that other people can use to create apps and experiences. That's right, and that's why uh, we're offering a, an SDK, Software Development Kit, so that developers can make their web page or their apps spritzable. Okay, and let's just see spritz in action. So spritzing is a technique where words are displayed in a very special way. The words are positioned in the crosshairs of a display so that you focus on one point. Then what we do is we position each word in the stream so that it's at the point where you can recognize the word. That's called the recognition point. So when I play this, you want to keep your eye focused between those two crosshairs and look at the red letter, which is the, just a way of keeping your eye in one place and relax. It's, we, the reason we call it focused reading is because your eye doesn't move. And so you're, you're drawn to that spot. And your peripheral vision enables you to read words up to 13 characters long, which covers about 98% of the words in the English language. Okay. German, of course, not so much. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Let's go up to uh, your next step. Let's go to 400 words a minute. This so, is great. I, t I can totally read this. It almost reminds me of, you know, when someone's speaking with you. It, it almost feels like someone's talking to me. It comes alive. I'll, I'll give you the highest speed, which is uh, 600 words a minute. Okay. Okay, and this will, of course, require even more concentration. So not many people can actually do it at this speed. Right, I feel like I'm right missing out. words at this point. You're missing words. So it's like skimming. Yeah. You're basically skimming now. However, if I now go back to 400, you're going to find that that's almost slow to you. And that's the effect we've seen. You need to go till it's comfortable. So slow is too slow. Fast is too fast. There's something right in the middle that's perfect for everyone. So here you could just read uh, any of your emails simply by selecting them. So that's uh, spritzing on the phone, but it's a companion app to the Samsung uh, Gear Watch. So here we have the same emails here on the watch. And so I'm on the go. I don't want to pull the phone out. I can just flip and read my emails, full content, uh, on, the, on the watch. OK, so the third demo of the Spritz experience is, is Glass. Yes. Tell me about what's happening here. Yeah, so, so what's happening is you uh, say, OK, Glass. Uh huh. Read Kindle, and what appears is a, is a selection of books, and you swipe to the book you want. There's the, the default book is the first one. I go like this? Uh, this way. This way. That would change the book. Okay. And swipe back would take you back to that book. Okay. And tap your temple, and now the spritzing, you'll select that book, and now spritz it again, and then it starts streaming the words. So you're reading at 280 words a minute huh. of this, uh, this book we selected for a demo. Right. What do you think that, so this is obviously just the book novel kind of experience. Yes. And so what will happen in the future is images will appear behind the spritz display. And so if the book has pictures, then the picture will complete the story. Right. And so we think publishers will publish in a different way now. Ah, completely hands-free. That's yeah. pretty cool. And what is the exact technology here? Is it an algorithm? Do you linger more on certain words than on others? Tell me about what makes Spritz special. Sure. Well, the first thing is the display. It has to have a way to catch your eye and, and so you know where to look. Uh, secondly, there has to be an algorithm to position the word at the recognition point of the word. And that's an, that is an algorithm. So the longer the word, the more the focal point shifts to the, away from the center of the word to the left if it's a language that's being read from left to right, and to the right if it's uh, like Hebrew or Arabic. So, so those are the first two things. And then there's a, 
a natural cadence of reading. So uh, we wanted to capture that. So long words are displayed longer. Um, complex words are displayed longer. Uh, long phrases or sentences uh, at the end of those, the pause before the next content begins is longer. So uh, it, it gives your brain uh, a way to process what you've read so you have that comprehension that you need. Is there anything that can't be spritzed? What, what are the limitations here? Well, um, there are some challenges. For example, a table of information. Mm. So a table is relational. And so you, you, you have to see it in the context of other information. Serial streaming doesn't work in that case. Now, people have been reading in the same way for, I mean, 15, centuries. Years. <laughs> right, about <laughs> eons. Um, what are the health impacts on maybe the eyes and the brain of prolonged spritzing? Have you done any studies? No. We, well, first of all, we, we're a stealth technology company, uh, so we couldn't really conduct much uh, research. There is research now underway, now that we're public. Um, but, you know, looking at a display is uh, no different than playing a video game. Mm. And people do that for a long, long time. I don't know what the health effects of that are. Um, but spritzing you do in short uh, bursts of, of, act, you know, of time that you have. So a typical reader will read for 8 to 10 minutes to consume news, for example. Right. You know, they, if you're reading a book, it's not that you're going to sit down in your bed and, and read an entire book in one shot. You're going to read a few chapters, a few pages, and, and sort of power your way through the book. Right. Maybe you would spritz when you're on the train of the book, and then once you're back home in bed or something, you'd read your regular book. Much. Right. Great. Tell me about your team and you know what your plans are for the future here. How many people do you have? What's the funding situation? Okay. Well, we uh, we just in January uh, did an, an A round, um, and that was aimed at building a team that's sufficient to support uh, large uh, platform companies that that want to incorporate spritz into their into their platforms. Uh, but as a result of this uh, overwhelming public interest, uh, we've decided to open it up so, to where we're supporting thousands of people. And so for this, we're, uh, we're building a bigger team. Okay. And, uh, and we'll be raising another round uh, in order to uh, support that. Uh, we are we're located in Boston, and so we're, we're building up our team there. Uh, we also have a team in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, just as a coincidence, one of our investors decided he really wanted to join the company and build a team. So, so we, uh, we did that there. Uh, and in the future, we'll, I'm sure we'll have operations here in the Valley. How will Spritz make money? Do you charge for the SDK? How does this get licensed? Well, um, there are a lot of, of business applications for this. So um, companies that want to know if their readers, their, their you know, enterprise mobility solution is working. And so by spritzing the content, you can actually, because you're serving it, you know if somebody's read it or how much of it they've read. And so this is a very effective way for those companies to, to, uh, to do it. And, and of course, in those cases, those will be paid, uh, paid licenses. Um, we'll also have advertising uh, not that we're serving, but advertisers who want to spritz the content because it's a challenge to, to get your message across in a little banner ad, yeah. right? You've got maybe six to eight words. With spritz, you can, you can serve a thousand words. You can really tell the story of what you want the, uh, the person to read. And so we, we think there's a great opportunity to monetize in advertising as well. And last question here, now that the SDK is public and anyone can open up to it, what are you personally most excited about you know, seeing perhaps be spritzed or perhaps even possible? Sure, sure. So we created a lot of demoware uh, so that we could communicate the spritz experience without having to build our own apps. Um, with the SDK, we're now powering a lot of innovation. So we've seen ideas. People are sending us emails because they're so excited to try new things with, with streaming of text in media. And uh, yeah, we think you're going to see some really interesting uh, applications and web uh, implementations that are really going to make uh, the experience so much better for the reader. Very exciting. Frank Waldman, thank you for coming by and showing us Spritz. I'm glad to be here. Thanks so much.